you try to figure out at what point in the season is your season over. Are you playing for draft picks and are you going to start having a, a fire sale to get rid of players uh, so you get more draft picks? And we did a little research. Our guy Troy, who uh, was very excited this morning, he goes, Craig, guess what? Craig, guess what? I found a stat we can use. I'm like, Troy, what is it? Six out of the last seven seasons, teams that started two and four, at least one of them, has made the playoffs. The 2002 Jets, matter of fact, were two and five and won the division and went to the playoffs so it can happen. So we got two rock star football players here today. I'll give you the teams that are two and four. You guys help us out. Okay. Are they trash? Or is there a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow where they will see some treasure? That's gold. right. All right, here we go. Trash or treasure? Still doesn't make sense to me, but <laughs> you get the concept. It's a two and four team that can make the playoffs. Here we go. We start off with the Cardinals. Obviously, uh -huh. Kyler Murray and all the offensive struggles. They just traded for Robbie Anderson, and they get D Hop back. So maybe the offense looks better this week. Plax, I'll start with you. Cardinals, trash. Or is there some treasure later this year? I am going trash. Oh. I am. I, I, I believe that the Cardinals are the worst team in that division. And even though they added Robbie Anderson this week and Hopkins, D Hop is coming back, I just don't see uh, Kyler Murray leading that team to the playoffs. So you think they have a quarterback problem more than anything else right now? Absolutely. All right. Kyler Murray, by the way, uh, is the leader of the 22nd ranked scoring offense. And they're uh, kind of like Baltimore, but the opposite. They stink in the first half. They've only scored 29 points and in the second half, and they're coming from behind all the time, so they're throwing the ball a lot more. They're seventh in the NFL with 79 points. What do you think, Nick? Trash or treasure? Um, I am also going trash. I think, uh, you know, we give Kyler a bunch of money, and we put in his contract that he has to study. I think he's studying too much. He needs to back off and just play the game. And he's getting some weapons. Right. So maybe they're coming around. But I just like it, it's it's disappointing to see what this you know Cliff Kingsbury he comes back. Right. They always start off hot and then fall off at the end of the year. Well, now they've started off terrible, and they're still going to fall off at the end of the year. So <laughs> that, that, that would make them that would make them trash, going, right? They're not going anywhere. So uh, they do me. play uh, tonight, though, right? Cardinals are playing tonight. They are. Uh, so, you know, who knows? They play against the Saints tonight, so maybe they can right the ship. And that brings us to the Saints, another 2-4 and four team. Obviously, whoever loses this game is definitely in the trash pile. But when you take the Saints have lost four of their last five games after a season opening win, they've also allowed more than 28 points in their last three games. Nick, I'll start with you on this one. Saints, trash or future treasure? Trash. Uh, they, they're they known for their defense, and they're not playing defense. So we, when you're known for something and you don't do it well, and then you have – and I know James had his LASIK, and, you know, he's coming back off injury. Right. And we're getting him back and everything. I just don't <laughs> see that propelling them because they can't play defense. They're, That's they're a tough way point. to win if you it's, can't play defense. If you can't right? play defense, you're not going to win any games. Plax, what do you think on the Saints? Trash or treasure? Even they are in a two-team division, Tampa Bay and the Saints, I'm going trash. Trash, why? Yeah. They have quarterback issues. You know, Jameis is coming back. He, he just hasn't been able to lead a team consistently over 16, 17 weeks to the playoffs, so I'm going trash. Let me ask you a question. As a, in your prime as a wide receiver, uh, wh which one of these teams would you have more like to have lined up against? Would you, want, would you think you'd have a bigger day against the Cardinals or against the Saints right now? You know what? I would say the Saints because I just want me some of that Marshawn Lattimore. Oh. Press, really? Press, pr press man to man, bump and run. That's my style. That's my game. Yeah, man. so you want a guy that thinks he can uh, play you up close and handle oh, you, right? I, I think I can beat him for 100 yards in my day. How about today? Oh. Not today, though, could you? Uh, no. <laughs> you have really gotten old, haven't you, Blake? Absolutely. I just turned 45, man. You look fantastic, yeah. but thank you're, you, you, you're an old man you. now. Yeah, that's that's a, one compliment you've given me. Yeah. That you look nice? Yeah, yeah, you do you. look good. Yeah, thank uh, you. Have it, yeah. Everything's tightened up nice. Yeah. You got the goatee uh, uh, going pretty uh, pause, nice. Pause, pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no need. All right, that's the Cardinals and the Saints. Let's go. I mean, this is an easy one for me. Uh, the Cleveland Browns are two and four. Obviously, they're waiting to get Deshaun Watson on the field. By the time they do, it just might be too late for them. 
and it seemed like they were going to be a different team this year. And then the Jets beat them 31 to 30, and the uh, let's be honest, you know, the wheels fell off the wagon. But uh, the Browns right now are two and four. Jacoby Brissett is the second lowest rated quarterback in the NFL right now. Plax, I'll start with you. Cleveland Browns trash the treasure. Surprisingly, I'm going treasure. I just, wow. I, I, just believe, I, I just believe in that Cleveland Brown running game. Jacoby, Jacoby is not going to lead this team with his arm. I think that defense will, will get better. Cincinnati Bengals aren't playing as well, well, as well as I thought they were. So I'm going treasure, Nick Chubb, the offense, Miles Garrett on defense. Nick Chubb, by the way, leads the NFL with 649 rushing yards this year. So rely on the run. Very similar to what you guys did in Mark Sanchez's early years. Run, 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 and then ask Mark not to blow it and manage a game. And listen, it got you to back-to-back -back AFC Championship games. It did. Like, the recipe does work, right? It does, it does. But um, I respectfully disagree. It's it's the Cleveland Browns. It's a right. mistake by the lake. Like, let's be honest. It, 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 their run game is fantastic. And I yes. love it. And as an offensive lineman, I think it's, it's great. But it's Cleveland. If they only hadn't choked against the Jets, <laughs> they would be three and three, and we might view them differently because Deshaun's coming back in a couple weeks, and if they could just tread water, that loss is a killer. I, mean, I wouldn't say they choked against the Jets. The oh, they Jets choked. are playing really good football right now. Yeah, but then they choked. Like, if Chubb just takes the knee inside the five, that game's a wrap. If they don't give up an onside kick, that game's a wrap. If they don't forget to guard Corey Davis, right. that game's a wrap. <laughs> we call that choke and right come from blocks. They're not the old Cleveland Browns that we knew, you know, forever. But yes. I do think they're better. But I think they are, the as Nick said, the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> How could you say that about a team that leads the NFL in rushing and you are an offensive lineman? Right. That's how objective I am. <laughs> I can look at it. Hey, you, you look like Jesus when you, you say that. <laughs> yeah. uh, Big Jesus. Jesus. I like him very much. <laughs> he, 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 a Jesus that didn't say no to a meal Jesus. <laughs> oh, I have, great, <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a great story about Nick. I have a great story. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel, feel free to tell hey, us the story. Nick, no, was, all, story. Nick was always one of my favorite teammates of all time because after practice, you would be in the training room while everybody was gone. And Nick will walk in and say, is anybody hungry? And everybody was like, yeah. <laughs> he ordered pizzas, Chipotle. Yes. And, oh, uh, man, he's one of my. You're that guy. You take yeah. care of the trainers. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They take care of you. You take care of them. And yeah. there might be extras for everybody else. Okay. It's your fifth day on the show. Not a single piece of food is coming here on your money. It's on too your early. Dollar. It's too early. <laughs> Nothing's open. It's New York City. I can get you anything you want. I can get you anything you want. You want some raw burger? I can get it for you right now. All right, one more trash or treasure. And that. Uh, this is, again, I don't pick these because they picked themselves. They're two and four. The Pittsburgh Steelers, your former team. Obviously, Trubisky, once again, is now the starting quarterback because of the injury to Kenny Pickett. You've got some issues in that locker room, possibly now. Mike Tomlin, of course, their head coach, but their offense ranks 30th in the NFL. They are coming off a win against Tampa Plax. You're up. Steelers trash or treasure? Steal the nation, respectfully. Uh oh. Oh, God. Uh oh, here it comes. Oh, my God. I gotta go. I don't wanna say the word trash. <laughs> That's How can you put him in the spot? I mean, let me walk you through it. You have a choice. They, they you got just, trash and you got treasure. I, I think they're the third best team in this division um, behind Cincinnati and, and Baltimore. I just don't see them getting any better on offense. Uh, quarterbacking situation, you know, him and Deontay going at it. Uh, you know, trade trade rumors of Clay Chapu. Say it. I just say it. Trash. Yeah, he yes. said it. Yes, <laughs> Steel Nation. Mike Thomas' Your first losing season <laughs> is, on the, is on the horizon. Nikki, what do you think, bud? Uh, I'm in agreement here, and I'm just a hater all day today. So yeah. <laughs> all these teams suck. Um, <laughs> The Steelers are struggling with the quarterback situation. I know that they're going to get the, the defense is, is, is still be going strong, but like it, right. without a quarterback, I mean, what are you going to do? Can't you can't win. All right, so you said trash to everybody. There yep, you go. I trashed them all. Hey, hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.